My name is Joseph Buckley, president of John Reed and Associates, and I would like to take this opportunity to discuss in this very brief video program the question, what is the non-confrontational approach? Generally speaking, the non-confrontational approach is one of the options that the investigator has as to how they should initiate the interrogation. In other words, what's the first thing they should say to the subject? Before we talk about that, particular approach, as well as some others that we're going to offer you for your consideration, I want to put everything in context. Specifically, in the read technique, our first contact with the subject is always a non-accusatory, non-confrontational investigative interview, in which the investigator is a neutral, objective fact finder. The goal of the interview is to develop information, such as the subject's activities during the time period in question, possibly their alibi or their relationship with the victim, or in general terms, the who, what, when, where, why of the situation that is under investigation. It is only when the information from the interview and subsequent investigation indicate that our subject is the probable offender that interrogation becomes appropriate. When we decide that interrogation is appropriate, we have to figure out what's the best way to initiate that process. In our training program, we talk about multiple options that you have, but in this program, we're going to share with you five of them, one of which is the non-confrontational approach. So here's the first option you have. Jim, as a result of the investigation that we've conducted and the information we developed during our interview, the investigation clearly indicates that there are still some areas we need to clarify. Here's our second option. Jimmy, the results of our investigation clearly indicate you have not told me the complete truth about the break-in at Jason's jewelry store. Here's our third option. Jimmy, as you know, we've interviewed everybody who was in the area, and you are the only person we cannot eliminate from suspicion. Here's our fourth option. Jimmy, I have in this file the results of our investigation into the break-in at Jason's jewelry store. The investigation clearly indicates you are the person who committed that break-in. The fifth option is what is called the non-confrontational approach. The investigator does not make any statement indicating the subject's direct involvement in committing the crime, but sidesteps that and simply begins talking about a parallel situation. For example, Jimmy, the reason I wanted to talk to you is that you reminded me of a young man I spoke to just a few weeks ago. He was a young man, ambitious, a real go-getter, and he made great progress working in a bank, moving from clerk to teller and then finally to auditor. Everything was going great for this guy. But then one day as he was balancing the bank books, he discovered that a teller had failed to record a $6,000 deposit that had been made and then it continues from there. Whichever opening statement you decide to use, typically the follow-up is theme development in which we offer the subject psychological justification for committing the behavior and using empathy, understanding, and logic create an environment where the subject wants to tell us the truth about what happened. Now, in deciding which way you should begin the interrogation process, I recommend that you read two of our investigator tips on our website. The first one is called, What Words Should I Use When I Start an Interrogation? And the second is called, The Non-Confrontational Approach. These two investigator tips will set out for you the criteria you should consider in deciding the best approach for you in any given situation. Always remember that you have to feel comfortable with whatever statement you choose to use at the outset of the interrogation. If you have any questions or need any additional information, please call us at our uh, 800 number, 255-5747. My personal extension is 19. Or you can email me at jbuckley at Thank you very much for taking a few minutes to listen to this program.